everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my crystal collection. I'm super excited. I have pretty much been uh, accumulating these crystals for like over a year now, I think. And I'm so excited to show it to you guys and show you guys each the meaning of each of these crystals. My kind of meaning versus um, my kind of meaning and also like what I've seen. Um like what I read online, so it might be similar to that. Um, but yeah, if you want something more in depth, you're probably gonna want to um, probably look online. But these are like short and kind of, you know, my what I use these crystals for. So let's get into it. So these are my crystals on my altar. So first I'm gonna start off with this crystal bracelet that I got from the beach. It says, Dreaming of the Sea. Um, I think this is aquamarine. And I guess aquamarine is good for like helping you, like I guess it helps you to be smarter in a weird way. And then it also is like a calming crystal. I picked this out because I love blue and I'm obsessed with blue. So first official crystal is this clear quartz crystal that I got. Um, it's really good for amplifying the other, um, the other power of, like, the other crystals. Like, if you want to use this with, like, a money crystal like Tiger's Eye, it'll just amplify the, uh, like, the money energy your way. So, it's a good amplifier and pretty much good all around. Like, you can really use this crystal for pretty much anything, you know, sleep with it at night to... You know, have good dreams and not bad dreams. Um, yeah, it's good all around. It's a great crystal to start out with. And it's the first crystal I ever got. So if you're looking for the first crystal to get, get a clear quartz. The second crystal that I got, this is, I think, Selenite. Not Selenite. Uh, this is another blue crystal. I love blue crystals, obviously. I love blue. I don't really remember what this, does, I, what this is called. But it's supposed to help your throat chakra and, like... So this one is one of my faves. It's Labradorite. Hold on, I don't know if you can see that. Um, she's my favorite. She's good to channel like your higher power and your higher self. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much what I use her for. This is Rose Quartz, and it's pretty much good for love. I use this for self-love just to really, you know, attract that self-love and really love yourself. Yeah, and that's what I pretty much use it for. You can do it for the same. It's a very beautiful, pretty crystal, even though you can't really see it. It's got, like, a little light shade of pink because I did get it in raw form. And the fake rose quartz crystal will be, a, like, a lot darker. Some of them are dyed, so definitely pay attention to that. This is a amethyst crystal, and I got this because I'm a Virgo. And... <laughs> It's really good for anxiety, so whenever you're a bit anxious, you know, definitely get that amethyst, and you'll probably feel a bit better. I love it. It's a cute little purple shade. Obsidian, I got this because it's really good for grounding. It's really good for attracting things. A lot of these crystals are just, are if you search them up, they're good for not only the things that I'm saying, but also for attracting but I forgot some of the things that they're good for attracting. But if you need something to really ground you, like, obsidian is it. And also, I think it also repels, like, negative energy. So, very pretty. I love her. Great. Black uh, tourmaline, I think. And it's really good for if you have, you know, microwaves and just wave, um, wave frequencies and stuff like that that are always around you, always around all of us to kind of repel that and also good for repelling negative energy as well. Overall, just a really great um, crystal. Okay, so this is Selenite. This is good for also channeling your higher self and it's really pretty. <laughs> I love that. And it also is good for obviously repelling negative energy and um, yeah keeping the positive energy around you. I think it transforms. One of these crystals that I've shown, whether it's this one or the other two black ones, they repel, they like soak in the negative energy and then like give you back like positive energy. So it's really, really great. 
This is how light I got it because it looks like marble. <laughs> now I'm just playing. Um, how light is also good for Virgo if you overthink. Um, it kind of just makes sure that um, like your thoughts make sense, I think, or something like that. But it's really, really great if you overthink and you're trying to make sense of all your thoughts. It's really pretty too, and it's great overall. Also, aquamarine, and I think it is. I don't really remember. I haven't had these crystals for a long time, but it's really good for calming again because it is blue and all blue crystals are great for calming. So those are all the crystals I'm going to show you guys today. I do have a few more, but if you want to see a little bit more in depth, then I'll definitely search up the meanings and not just go based on what I use them for and see the rest of my crystals then comment that down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short, but I hope you guys got a little bit more insight to crystals and probably might purchase some, you know, not only for personal use, but, well, yeah, for personal use, but um, also like gifting it to other people, maybe your friends, family who, you know, you know, overthink a lot, so you might want to give them how light or, you know, someone who's been struggling with loving themselves or you know going through something and you might want to give them a rose quartz but anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video be sure to like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends your family and yeah i'll see you guys in the next hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be answering some questions you may be having about high school if you're in grade um i'll just be